Hi guys, I'm back here with another voiceover, just showing you how I do my base. So I get the Ordinary, um, I think it's Fixed Fluidity Primer, like it's the best primer I've ever tried, not gonna lie. And then the Iconic Drops, just to kind of smear all over my face, because I'm all about that glow. And honestly, there's so many dupes for this, but nothing's as good enough, it's worth the money, not gonna lie. So my foundation, I actually mix the Cover FX Drops as well as the Ordinary Foundation together, because it just makes my perfect shade. I always have to mix foundations for my perfect shade, unfortunately. Um, then I kind of put it all over my face like painting um it is quite pretty full coverage as you can see but honestly like I couldn't go any less I need that coverage um then I'm obviously getting my beauty blender and making sure there's no brush strokes or anything like that all over my face um if you guys have watched my other videos you know I use a Clinique 2-in-1 foundation under my eyes to cover my dark circles because honestly nothing nothing covers my dark circles like that one does and I can't use it all over my face because I'm allergic unfortunately um <laughs> honestly magnum is not my drink it is really not my drink um then I've got my revolution concealer in quite of a warm brown tone if you guys need specific colors and you're the same skin tone as me then just drop me a message or write in the comments and i'll let you know what colors they are um i'm kind of using this as a base to contour if that makes sense like just to kind of warm the face up because we, right now we look like a mona lisa painting and we really don't want to look that bland um so i'm just warming it up as if it's like a cream bronzer if that makes sense i just think it adds a better blend once i go in with the darker shade that i've got there um so this is a new concealer that i've been trying is the infallible concealer i'm not gonna lie it's actually my favorite it is my favorite i love it it's got so much coverage and i've got it in quite a um and like ashy brown because they go quite dark with the brown but the, i think the undertones are just a bit everywhere but this one works for contouring i'm not gonna lie um i kind of contour my nose as well with it and you'll see my nose has come back because oh my god they're so loud my brothers you can see that my nose has come back and i've got definition again and that's really what we want we don't want it to look flat um i just honestly i can't con i can't go without contouring my nose at all i have to do it every single time I wear makeup. So now I'm using the same concealer, just in a lighter shade, just to go over the highlighted parts. Um, honestly, this concealer is the shit. If you guys want me to do another video where you can actually see the concealer and a day test, then let me know because honestly, this concealer is my baby. And it's so full coverage. I just can't like live without it now. I just need it. And some people have had the problem where it kind of creases under the eyes and honestly I haven't had that problem and my under eyes are very creasy um so I don't know what's going on there but it's really good so now I'm going over with my RCMA powder um I kind of just pat that into the skin before I bake because I feel like it gives a better finish and it's smoother um then I'm just getting a darker powder this is a Lord and Berry powder and I'm literally just putting that all over my face just to give myself some color just doing my eyebrows just cleaning them up um I'm not going too in detail with the eyebrows because eyebrows are a whole nother story honestly you need a whole video for that I'm just going in with my Ofra I think it's I can't remember what it's called, but it's a bronzer and it's like one shade and it's for everybody. Um, I feel like it's got such a simple name, but I can't remember anymore. Um, I'm kind of just going over those parts that I bronzed with the cream bronzer. Going over on MAC Fix Spray and some highlighter. So if you guys have seen my other video of the Doll Beauty Highlighter, mate, this, this is the shit. Like, this is the shit. And if you spray before you put any highlighter on, your highlighter, you can put as much on as you want and it will not look cakey and obviously blend it in with a beauty blender as well at the end just to get those harsh edges away i kind of put highlighter all over my face just because i need i need that glow like that's what brings me to life i haven't gone too in detail with the eye makeup look just because my camera freaking died it literally it drove me insane i was like all that effort so i just want to show you guys how i do my base makeup because that has changed as of lately, just because of those concealers and the iconic blender drops and all those types of nice things. Um, but otherwise, I will be doing more videos on makeup definitely soon. But for now, this is it. And thank you guys for watching this video.